look around you. Everything around you. Most things that you see are symmetrical. For example, the human face is very symmetrical. Right down the center, everything is symmetrical down what would be the z-axis, I guess. And most things around you have symmetry in one way or another. Whether it be a computer mouse, it will be symmetrical right down the, the x-axis. Uh, a pen would be symmetrical in many ways. Most things have symmetry, so we can use the symmetry modifier to, by using the symmetry modifier, we only have to model at the very least one quarter of our model, but usually about one half, and the rest is created automatically for us. Let me show you some quick examples of how this modifier works. So I'm using the December 6th build, so by using the mirror modifier, we can have all this working for us. So let's add in a mesh cube just for simplicity. And then go into edit mode and let's add a mirror modifier. By standard, usually you'll use the X axis, but you can use all the different axes. Now, if I grab this along the X axis one unit, you will see I now have an exact duplicate on the left and the right hand side and by turning on merge and clipping that means that these vertices are now together so when I grab it they are connected as if it was one vertice together which is what you want to use in most cases however by turning off clipping that allows you to take this vertice and you can make things like this or you can go all the way over which can create uh, artifacts like this but it can be useful in certain instances but most of the time you'll have merge and clipping on the merge limit simply sets how far away before it will merge the vertices so if we turn it up extremely high with a merge limit extremely high like we have 0 0.38 here now when the vertices get fairly far apart so about right there they merge so right off the center but if you set it down to say zero you'll see i have to grab it all the way to the center where you'll see that they won't merge at all until i turn on clipping but you'll see now that i have to wait until they go all the way to the center until they merge and now they are one physical unit the stock setting, however, 0 0.001 or whatever it is, works well because that way when you get them close, let's zoom in, close like that, then they, they automatically merge. So depending on the scale of your model and how fine you want details, that is the difference there. With the mirror modifier, you can you can do anything you want to one half of your your mesh and it will instantly be changed on the other side exactly as you've done to the original side you can you can take it you can scale it you can rotate it you can do whatever you'd like and you can see how vertices automatically merge so it can create some interesting stuff and you can also do the Y and the X axis. So you can see here it's mirrored in all axes. So let's go back, restart the mirror modifier actually. What we can do is we can subdivide our cube. So we're gonna go W, subdivide. So we now have a cube cut into four sections. So now if I delete half of it this way and half of it this way, and half of it that way so I only have a quarter oops, I only have a quarter of my cube left and just quickly fill this back in and then if I bring this along the X so that they merge I'm gonna turn on clipping so that the they don't touch each so that sorry I'm gonna turn off clipping and get them right together something like that now if we go Y and X you'll see we have a complete cube built out of just one quarter actually I guess that would be one eighth in this instance one two three four and then on the bottom five six seven eight so this can be used in many many different ways to create objects in in so many different different situations by using the mirror modifier um,
as you can see we have this really interesting kind of flower shaped object just by simply using this basic cube and like I said we were able to create a cube by just using an eighth of it and if we added something like a subdivision surf now you get all sorts of interesting things so just like that it makes for very very interesting meshes very very quickly if you were to model a vehicle all you would have to do is model one half of it and the other half would be mirrored right across so that makes it very very easy in that instance let me open up my hydraulic excavator I've been working on for example if we were to join everything, this is all now one entire mesh. If I go into edit mode and top view and I subdivide it, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to cut it right down the center. I'm going to use the knife tool with Z to cut through on and I am going to cut all the way from the back to the very front now this won't really work because this isn't perfectly symmetrical in the in this axis but if I do that and I delete the half that we just created and then add a mirror modifier Again, this wasn't the best example, but you can see that it's now mirrored in the x-axis or whatever vertices were remaining. So if I had started from the beginning, this would save me so much work. Let's say I wanted to make a dual cab excavator for some reason. This would be the way to create it. I would take the excavator and I would create an x-axis mirror. So that's as simple as that. And I can take this mesh and I can adjust it and I can turn on clipping. and do all sorts of things with it so yeah that is basically how the mirror modifier works and it can save you a lot of time in creating duplicates of objects that you want to be exactly the same again it's most useful for things like vehicles so this actually looks more like a monster than a car but so that's exactly it this is very useful for uh, creatures and humans you can see in my face if you were to model it, all you would have to do is model this side, the ear, uh, the, the half of the skull, one eye, half the nose, and half the mouth. And you could continue the rest of the body doing half the neck and such. And then just use a mirror modifier and it's going to create the rest of it for you. Just like that. So, And then you can apply it and you can make those minor imperfections that's, that a creature or... A, um, a human would have. So anyways, the mirror modifier is very useful. It saves you a ton of time. I use it much more often than I show in my videos. The same with the array modifier. But anyways, that's pretty much it. It's a very simple modifier and you get the idea behind it. I'm sure of it. So thanks for watching from the team here at BlenderTech.com. Again, that's BlenderTek.com. If you enjoyed this video and learned something, Please like and don't forget to subscribe for more Blender, Unity 3D, Programming, Photoshop, and all sorts of other videos. We're now on Twitter at twitter.com slash blendertech. So that's at blender underscore tech. So twitter.com slash blender underscore tech. And we're also on Facebook at facebook.com slash blendertech page. All one word, facebook.com slash blendertech page. If you dislike this video for some reason, don't just leave and hit the dislike button. Com leave us a comment or email the team at info.blendertech.com about what you did or did not like, and we will continually improve our videos based on your community input. We also take requests for tutorials, so let us know what you want more of or what you want to see in general. See you next time, remember our motto, create your way.